I found every epic bloop you can find. We've all seen bloop before, but have you ever seen lava bloop? Here are some ordinary guys just walking down the street straight into the gigantic bloop. This is a regular bloop who doesn't really have a whole lot going on for him other than the fact that he's just gigantic. Oh, they just walk up. Oh, never mind. They were walking over his teeth, but they're not any longer. This guy's gonna have some serious neck problems in the morning. We've all seen the boxy boos, but now we need to see the bloops. And we need to find out which bloop is the best bloop. So comment in the comment section below, which bloop is your favorite? This is bloop number one. This bloop number two is called the blue bloop. And he doesn't really have a whole lot going on for him other than the fact that he's blue. Just a whole family of very interesting looking people walking straight to their certain demise. They're going to walk up over these teeth, right? Oh no, they can't even make it up. Get in there. Okay, I'll, I shall, I will help them. If they can't do it themselves, I will give them a boost. There you go. There you go. Oh no. Oh no. It was his. There you go. You need it. You need some help. Oh jeez. You see, he did the splits. This guy needs a little bit more force. <laughs> There we go. That worked out pretty well. This guy is uh, in multiple pieces with part of his hand stuck inside Bloop's gums. Meet the third Bloop. This is Gamma Ray Bloop. And as you can see, he is gigantic, true to size. But here's the thing. I don't know why you'd call something Gamma Ray if you didn't have like Gamma Ray abilities, some kind of laser shooting out of his face. We need to know what happens if we take a whole bus of people and we drive them off into the abyss that is Bloop's gigantic mouth. I made him further down so that way we should get a nice little explosion hopefully. Let's watch as he and all the other people go into- Whoa! It went a little faster than I thought it was going to and we tow- oh down into his belly they go. That went totally farther than I thought it was going to. Alright, a whole group of red individuals getting ran over first, falling down to their certain death and destruction. Well, they got definitely messed up. I'm not quite sure how this guy's floating in the air or this guy right here became this mangled mess that is somehow like hanging in the air. But what's more interesting to me is this guy literally hovering in the air doing some kind of death ritual dance. Here is the fourth bloop. This bloop is space bloop and I like this one quite a lot but there's one more that might be my favorite now given the fact that bloop is in the air I thought we need some kind of uh, spacecraft an airplane maybe a jet and I found this thing but I don't know if it works quite the way that I thought it was going to uh, so we'll see what happens nope there it goes oh wait it's working Nope, there <laughs> it was working for a second. Maybe this is why it's not working. There we go. Oh crap! What the heck happened? It's taking Bloop away! It's making him fly away! I did not expect that to happen. I thought for sure that that plane would blow up. Someone asked the other day if this is my first time playing People Playground. It isn't. I just find this game to be incredibly, incredibly blo like blocky, I guess is a good word to say. Things look really dumb when I use it, but it is fun to play regardless. So it didn't quite blow up and do what I thought it was going to do. Fear not, I have a jet too. Although this might have similar results. Uh, what the heck? It's like frozen? Unfreeze! There we go. Yeah, okay. Well, it blew up in Bloop's mouth, but it definitely didn't do what I wanted it to do. I think the only thing left to try to do to this Bloop or another Bloop is to try to blow it up. So let's get a couple bombs and just put it right in his mouth. I have a bunch of atom bombs in his mouth that I have activated. So let's see what occurs when we let go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> So it turns out <laughs> that atom bombs work quite well on Bloop.
space bloop at least. You know, while it might not work on giant boxy boos like it didn't do in the last one, it definitely has the ability to mangle bloop's face quite a bit. There's one more bloop that's probably my favorite, and it's lava bloop. Look at this guy. Lava bloop is just an orange bloop, but I put him in lava because that's the name. And we're going to see what happens as a bunch of people walk into this bloop's mouth into this fiery abyss that is the lava but as well as you know hopefully touching his teeth and uh which i'm sure will result in a nice a nice effect here are our subjects <laughs> they, they look like a happy bunch looks like nothing no problems in the world no, no issues at all in life just going through life walking along when they encounter lava bloop <laughs> <laughs> this thing's nuts! I love this thing. It's great. Let's watch what happens as uh, they walk into his mouth. Turn on that slow motion. I'm sure it's gonna be nice. <laughs> oh, look at him! He's just hanging there. He's gonna get pushed by that guy behind him. This is this is kind of amazing. This guy's got like Michael Jackson powers. There he goes. Oh! I don't know. It's worse falling into Blue's mouth or doing the splits while you fall into Blue's mouth or doing the splits while you fall into Blue's mouth when his teeth are the temperature of the sun. Oh, look at him go. It's a stairway of death. Into the deeper lava pool. Not advisable. Just walk the other way. <laughs> Ouch, that's painful. Well, that about had the results that I was looking for. Things turned out quite well. Um, <laughs> they're getting to getting kind of toasty. So if so, that's pretty much what happens, right? If we do anything else, put a person on the teeth when they're in the lava. I think even if we put it on his head, right? He's, he'll catch on fire. Yeah, look at him. There he goes. Lava bloop is very hot. You don't want to touch him. He'll he'll damage you big time. So comment in the comment section below. Which bloop is your favorite? The normal, ordinary bloop number one? Is it the blue bloop number two? Perhaps it's the space bloop number three? To be the, 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 the gamma ray one. Third is the gamma ray one. Or is it space bloop? Which is kind of interesting that gamma ray bloop is bigger than space bloop. Or is it the lava bloop? I think the lava bloop's my favorite. Doggy, get out of the water. There's a gigantic legendary fish that wants to eat us. We're looking for the legendary bloop. Come along with me and my flying dog as we look for this legendary beast. Somewhere deep in this ocean lies a colossal beast the likes of which you've never seen. But first, we must go fishing. Hopefully we can catch something really awesome. Oh, look, I see a fish. Come here, fishy. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Get, get it. You know you want. Oh, he's going for it. Get it. Get it. Is that a bass? I'm pretty sure there's not supposed to be bass out here in the ocean. Oh, I got something. Pull it in. Yeah. Come on, come on, come. Reel this sucker in. I need solid ground to catch fish. What am I not on solid ground? I'm on a boat. There he's coming to me. He's almost here. I got him. Yeah. What is this? I need to know what kind of fish this is. Oh, look at He's beautiful. I love the way he looks. We should let him go. Get out of here. We need to keep trying to fish. Got another one. We need to keep trying to... Whoa, this one's big. Keep trying to fish in hopes to catch Bloop. I just now realized my dog is gone. Huh? I think he might have been eaten. Oh, my dog. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I got out here. I think I got pulled by this fish, whatever it is. And then my dog just randomly appeared from beneath the ocean. Ah, oh, I got away. We're bound to catch some something soon. Ah, it's a megalodon. I don't want to try to catch a megalodon. Is it even possible to catch the megalodon? It doesn't move, so maybe it's not. Catch. I'm going to catch you, megalodon. I know you want to eat this bait. That would be quite insane if he actually could. But I wonder what happens if we take the megalodon and try to make him eat my boat. What does that look like? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my boat. I don't know what's going to happen now that we're out here at sea and there's a megalodon destroying my boat. 
Doggo and I are back here at the factory, stocking up on some more fishing equipment since I lost my fishing rod. It's safe to say that trying to catch a megalodon doesn't always work out too well. But unfortunately for us, Doggy, the megalodon nope. followed us to our home. But now that he's here, we ought to see if he can actually eat a building. Mr. Megalodon, we must test your epic abilities. You can eat ships, but can you eat actual buildings and then whoa what happens i was gonna say if he actually tries to eat a propane tank but we found out pretty quickly what occurs it turns out that he's actually quite capable of destroying buildings too although he is starting to get uh his face destroyed a little bit don't worry we're fine we'll find a new home okay this is just for scientific purposes and since we found a megalodon i'm pretty sure we can get quite a bit of money for some of its meat don't worry i have advanced technology <laughs> oh my goodness this gun might be a little overpowered where's my dog i think i just destroyed my dog dude no there he is hey doggy let's head back out to the open ocean because if you remember we have to find bloop if i'm gonna hunt bloop I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Just gonna have to try to catch something. Wait, I think that's a blue marlin. We're gonna need a bigger fish than that. We need... Oh, we need to catch bloop. Sweet! I caught it. I caught a puffer fish. We're just gonna leave... Can I... Can I drop him? <laughs> can I drop this guy? He's stuck on here. The megalodon's back. Yeah, I think I caught myself a big gigantic blue marlin. Whoa, look at the bar in yellow. It must be a little bit more intense. It's pulling me. It's pulling me in, you guys. No, I got to get back in my boat. Oh, yeah, I caught it. Sweet. Hey, little marlin. How are you doing? Can I... Can I drop you? How do I drop? How do I drop you? He's just there. He is. You just flop around right there for a little bit of time, okay? I'm gonna eat you later. I'll just go ahead and store you right over here. What the heck is that? A rock? There's no rock. What is this? It's Bloop. <laughs> Bloop is here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Bloop is giant. He's go piece. Whoa! He's so much bigger than my boat and the megalodon. Can we go inside his mouth? Oh. <gasps> I think we can go inside his mouth. Oh, I can totally go in. We're going in. What's inside? Bloop, tell me your secrets. How did you get so large? Is he a fish or a whale or what is he technically? I could live in here, I think. Where's my dog? <laughs> my dog is gone again. I think my dog might have died. Here is what we need to do. We need to see what Bloop can do, how powerful he is. We need to see if he can eat my yacht first. And then we need to see if he can fight and de destroy the Megalodon. And then, what is that? Oh, that's a puffer fish. And then we need to see what it takes to destroy. Roy Bloop. Okay, Bloop. Oh my goodness, he's so large. Okay, Bloop, you're gonna eat my yacht, okay? My yacht. My not my boat, my yacht. Here we go. My boat's my boat's making noise like it's about to blow up. Can you devour this, please? Oh, 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 he's doing it. He's straight up eating it. He is demolishing the yacht with relative ease he has broken my yacht in half bloop is a terrifying absolute monster what does he look like underneath the ocean oh i can't even see him this would be ter oh my oh my goodness this would be absolutely terrifying to encounter something so large the showdown of the century bloop versus the megalodon who will win here he comes oh my goodness i'm pretty oh my dude does the megalodon just straight up fit in his mouth hold on we must test we have to see if he can straight up oh he can he can totally fit inside his mouth the bloop can straight up eat the megalodon whole Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. The blooper is just, just devouring the megalodon with ease. Oh, there it goes down into the water. What is it? What would it be like if Bloop actually came up out of the water? He's splashing. Look at he's beautiful. He's he's majestic. Wee! <laughs> Bloop is awesome. But now we must test how does Bloop hold up against some dangerous weaponry? Like a fireball, for example. What would happen if you threw a fireball into Bloop's mouth? Can you get him to... You know what? We should put some TNT in here and try to blow him up. Let's just put a couple... A couple bombs in here. Let's 
strap it to his to his side of his mouth. Oh, oh, <laughs> bloop! Uh, you've got a hole in. It. I need more explosives though. We got C4. That'll do the trick. Strap some C4 all around his body. Let's just load it up. This is some explosive action. <laughs> oh my goodness! Bloop has been utterly destroyed all that remains is the back part of his body i've got this thing called the davy crockett rocket which i'm pretty sure is a yep it's kind of like a nuke basically <laughs> It uh, has the ability to implant a missile into the side of something, and then shortly thereafter, a gigantic explosion occurs, and there we have it. Bloop has been obliterated once more. This is something called the lava gun. <laughs> so yeah, it turns everything to lava, whatever it touches, and so if you've ever wondered what would happen if Bloop encountered a volcano, Volcano. Now you have kind of an idea. Although that was kind of anticlimactic. He looks, he actually looks kind of cool. Bloop, you got some war wounds. I wonder if we can, let's just drop a nuke on him. Will I die? <laughs> Will I die if I do this? No, it's a mini nuke. All right. Well, it's about what I expected. Just a bunch of chunks of watermelon left over here. Oh, you guys. What if we dropped a Kamehameha on him? Give him a little Kamehameha action. Okay. Oh, that's the basic attack. This is what we're this is what we're after. Ready? Boom. Oh crap. I meant to go down his throat. Turned out it went just straight on his face. It, oh, it's blow I think it's blowing up before it can even get there. There we go. Let's let's get it in. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodness, Bloop, what happened? Well, that was pretty fun. Bloop, it was nice meeting you. But today, we're gonna send you off with a bang. This is called the BFG, and the BFG likes to make, oh gosh, nope, there it goes. Oh, it started, it was gonna explode all of a sudden right away. But uh, as you can see, what it does is it kind of disintegrates things as it goes along, and now, Bloop is just ahead. There's a new Bloop, and today we find out just how strong it is. Today we make all the Bloops fight to find out who's the strongest. And then we ask the question, what happens if Bloop faces off against a whole army of boxy boos? You might find yourself asking the question, what if Bloop was actually real. What sort of madness and terror might he inflict on unsuspecting civilians? Well, I'll do you one better. <laughs> what if there was such a thing as Bloopzilla? This would be how big he was, and this is what he would do. He'd start by <laughs> flamethrowering down a couple civilians. Then he'd light Granny's house on fire. He'd help the local baker make some bread. He'd visit the local sporting event and ruin the fun for all the kiddos. This apparently is a bloop. <laughs> but this bloop, I'm just gonna dub the derp bloop because he's kind of derpy, although he does have quite the different weaponry, so he could turn out to be pretty lethal against some of the other bloops. Ooh, and he does eat things, which is pretty cool to see, and he also has all kinds of weird tentacle things going on on his body. Don't ask me how this happened, but there's a bunch of alphabet lore and some huggy wuggy poppy playtime stuff fighting off against what's known as the mini bloop and so we'll see what happens with the mini bloop because there's a bigger version of this bloop that's a little bit more terrifying what happened to his face and this might be more effective actually because he always has to do is skid it along the ground and it can skewer all sorts of things actually nope it's just derped out these alphabet lore characters are quite durable they can withstand some nice attacks from bloop although things are starting to get even more weird I think we should check out the next one. Ooh, a whole army of mommy long legs is pretty terrifying looking. But what's more terrifying than these things? Oh, I don't know. What about Missile Bloop, who's way up high in the air and he's way larger than the other one? I'm pretty sure mommy long legs is going to not be able to withstand the effects of Missile Bloop for very long. And it turns out, though, that the missiles aren't really launching off nearly as much as I thought they would be. Let's try this again. I made Missile Bloop a little bit more.
more terrifying. Yeah, that's more like it. Now we're talking about missiles. I like it a lot. It turns out though that the mommy long legs have quite a bit of health and can withstand hundreds of missiles. This is Punk Bloop. Punk Bloop is a little derpy. <laughs> Punk Bloop is just kind of an ordinary shark. He's just trying to blend in with the other bloops, I think. Punk Bloop, though, faces off against a whole army of Bobbies and Bobby Riders. I'm not too sure if they're gonna... Oh, yeah, and there's also Sir Baconstein back there, which I don't know if you guys remember Sir Baconstein, but here he is. He's got a flaming jet toots coming out of his butt he it, they are well okay it's working punk bloop is dragging his spikes along the ground spiking everything in its way but will melee only be able to deal damage against the other epic bloops let's find out but here's the thing there is a bloop that is so gigantic it is the boss bloop the daddy bloop the big old grandpa bloop and it's probably gonna win maybe i don't know is there anything that can beat this bloop let's find out in our epic battle royale and then let's watch as the bloops fight off against the new boxy boo oh my goodness something tells me the other ones are in for quite the battle and this might be the best bloop there is although this bloop's kind of got like a cool golden look to it which maybe it's a brand new bloop it's a type of bloop you've never seen before one thing is absolutely for certain this bloop would cause a mass extinction event and destroy everything on the face of the earth if it was uh, floating through the air right today so what happens if you take all the bloops in game and make them and fight off against one another which one is victorious at the end of the battle and like always if this one proves to be the absolute best because it's like just overpowered we will dq it from the battle while it can retain the overall you know best bloop in game title we'll make these ones fight to prove which one is the best of the basic versions we've got the missile bloop fighting off against the mini boop we've got the boop we've got the punk bloop fighting off against them as well then over here we got godzilla zilla bloop bloop zilla versus this weird bloop over here here comes oh no there's the flamethrowers the big bloop is here and he's means absolute business now bloop this bloopzilla he also has flamethrowers there he goes light him up bloopzilla what are you doing and then over here did anybody die yet on this side doesn't look like anyone is dead yet over here while it looks like the missile bloop definitely has what's going like the best stuff going on for it surprisingly after like four minutes bloopzilla is still alive i thought for sure bloopzilla would be dead by now especially when facing this thing but that maybe that proves that bloopzilla oh, bloopzilla died maybe that proves that bloop Zilla technically is the next bet and these guys are still fighting over here I wonder if any damage has actually been done they've got melee they've got lasers they've got missiles they're flying up into the air no one has taken any damage yet except for the punk bloop so he's gonna die next uh oh here comes here comes the boss bloop oh no you guys <laughs> boss bloop is coming he's getting closer I should have put him as player one so I don't have this stupid you lost on the screen the whole time i wish that could wish we could get rid of that and like hide the ui essentially oh no he's gonna torch all of them isn't he the the punk bloop is down now the missile bloop is getting just absolutely demolished and and baby mini bloop has got his weird mouth thing freaking out again these guys actually are lasting a lot longer than i thought they would against this thing oh no there goes the baby bloop mini bloop is gone mini bloop is no there goes the other bloop this bloop definitely proved to be the best bloop there is now the question is do i have them battle again and take him out i think maybe we do now it's just these guys and i think probably bloopzilla is gonna wind up winning this battle that's my guess at least but then again we, you never know it could be the missile bloop but i'm thinking bloopzilla is gonna win we got a big problem this battle has been going on and nothing <laughs> nothing is happening <laughs> there's no damage being done even though bloopzilla has flamethrowers so i think that means that the other bloop 
is the best bloop and we can actually see some action from at least one of the bloops now by themselves against other things they prove to be pretty formidable foes and speaking of which what happens if we take one of the bloops and fight them off against the boxy blue boos all these blues and boops and oops are messing with my mind seven boxy boos facing off against one bloop this is bloop baby bloop mini bloop with his little lasers and his teeth will find out if this thing can actually beat these these ones they're all melee based and so i'm assuming that they're not going to be able to beat bloop that bloop will be able to beat them but then again we ne you never know how battles go in this game clearly they're getting lasered one just died literally from nothing it didn't even get lasers he just straight up died maybe he got bit by the teeth or something they're just trying their best to try to hit him get find a weak spot of some kind but nothing's really happening although there is some a lot of loot like weak spots underneath bloop bloop blo Oops, I can't, there's too many boos and things. But let's be real. If Bloop came around and fought off against Boxy Boo, the answer to that battle is pretty straightforward, don't you think? Do you think that Boxy Boo would destroy Bloop from inside internally? Comment below and let me know if you think that that would happen. Oh no, there's just parts everywhere. It's pretty much safe to say that they're not doing any damage to him. And he's just straight up, he just broke that one's neck. He just lasered his neck through his body. Oh no, look over here. This one's, oh no, his head's back to normal. I was gonna say, that one's head got lasered through that thing too. They're all just getting, they're getting straight up lasered broken. That is awesome. Oh no, this one's head is turned around backwards and upside down. How did that even happen? It is surprising though to me that they have managed to last this long. Have they done any? They haven't done any damage to him. This one's the one that had his head blown through his body has taken the least amount of damage. They're okay. This battle is looking pretty one sided over here, you guys. Just me and my good friend out here fishing in the open ocean looking for some brand new sea monsters. Legend tells of not only Bloop, but also a Megalodon and Dark Bloop and a Kraken. We found, what did we get? Oh, look, are you hungry? Today we're looking for Dark Bloop and we're also looking for other sea monsters and then we're gonna see if Dark Bloop can eat them. Eat it and stop making that noise. Bye, <laughs> he's, he's flying somewhere. There he goes. In order to find them, we have to drive for quite a while to the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. Now, apparently, they really like to eat pu- I need- <laughs> One went overboard. They really like puffer fish, and so we fished for quite a while to get this bad boy, and now we're going to try to use him as bait. Just throw this out into the deepest part of the ocean and then I think what we should we should probably drive over there and then maybe jump in and see if we can see anything not quite sure what's happening to my boat here but we've got a massive problem I'm, I don't know how I'm not sinking look bloop was here he's uh, he's he's come up from the depths to eat some people and some boats maybe as well as some fish but something's happening with my game that's causing some serious lag. I think we need to explore under the- oh, Did you see that? Did you see that for a second? I think we just saw Dark Bloop somewhere under here. Oh my goodness. I see the eye. There's a fish here. He must be trying to get this fish. Where's he going? He's going deeper under the water. I can't, I can't quite get down there. You guys, this is no island. This is dark bloop. We are standing on dark bloop right now. We need to get him up out of the water so that way we can see what he really looks like. Let's, oh, there's his eye. He's coming up. We might not even have to do anything. It looks like he's emerging from the depths. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's amazing. Look at him. Here he comes. We need to see what's inside his body. And then we also need to see him like hovering in the air. And then we're going to make him fight and eat other th other sea monsters just to see what he's capable of doing. Oh my goodness. He's up. Let's look inside his mouth and see what's in here. It's pretty similar to the other bloop. Maybe a little bit different, but what? I just go through his body? What the heck? I can teleport. Here's the real question. This is bloop and is bloop larger 
or way smaller than dark bloop let's find out let's put them next to each other oh my goodness dark bloop is way bigger than regular bloop this is amazing. Look at how much bigger he is. It's about a whole heads. I don't know if you can call it heads. A whole heads like he could probably eat regular bloop. That's my guess. Let's let's get bloop here and see if dark bloop can eat him. Let's bring him around and see what happens. Here we go. We're about to see if dark bloop can eat regular bloop. Oh my goodness i think he'll fit almost in his almost in his mouth he'll almost fit in there <laughs> dark bloop eating regular bloop that is amazing oh look at him just get devoured by dark bloop. oh no regular bloop has been destroyed he is just a weird gangly body part let's let's see if he'll put him in his mouth dark bloop is like indestructible right now i wonder if it's because he's frozen i didn't think that that would happen but it, apparently that's the case there we go bloop has been devoured by dark bloop but guys here's the thing we need to see if a megalodon will fit in his mouth but there's also a kraken somewhere out here if the dark bloop was real he would have no problem eating the megalodon look at the sheer size difference between the two of these guys he could eat the megalodon whole by the looks of things straight up totally devour the megalodon in maybe even one bite the fin seems to be stuck there we go he's in there now that's what would happen if the megalodon encountered dark bloop it would be utterly destroyed in pretty much one i think i think dark bloop could open his mouth even more do you guys think that dark bloop could eat a megalodon now i'm i'm extremely excited because while dark bloop is really cool my favorite thing in terms of what i would love to see is a gi big gigantic kraken and guess what finn Pyra has made a big gigantic kraken and so we're about to see dark bloop face off against a kraken dog get out of the water what are you doing he's stuck in the water there's a kraken somewhere he's gonna try to eat us do me a favor just chill out right here on the boat no uh, fine you're gonna be eaten he is quite crazy this dog anyway let's look for the kraken shall we dog i'm gonna use you as bait if i dangle you in the water and let you cause a bunch of commotion maybe you'll summon the kraken to us stop pushing me around oh, <laughs> it's already here it's in the water already look doggy let me introduce you to the kraken we're about to feed the dog to the kraken oh my goodness it's moving it's it's moving look at the size of, get off the kraken yeah this is what the dog would do sit on top the oh look at it bend wow that is really cool actually dude the dog is pushing me around the kraken is incredible that is amazing he's way bigger than dark bloop actually i think we have to see we have to see these two side by side oh i take that back the kraken is nowhere near the size of bloop whoa he is way smaller than bloop that is actually very surprising dude bloop is eating the kraken that's incredibly cool stay in there crack oh look he's got a beak underneath he's got oh that is that is awesome look at this i post it and it looks so incredibly cool the kraken could totally be swallowed in one bite by bloop this is actually by dark bloop i should say this is actually pretty amazing let's see what would happen if bloop encountered the kraken ah uh, this is more of a matchup here if the kraken encountered bloop there we go that's pretty cool <laughs> if the kraken encountered bloop we might have a we might have more of a battle here more of a fight the kraken could probably choke bloop out maybe but would, would the kraken fit in this bloop's mouth not really it would it take quite a bit i wish that this beak thing underneath here actually could eat stuff but you know regardless of the fact i mean it's a kraken and it's in this game and who doesn't love sea monsters and stuff like this yeah there we go 
Can the Kraken eat? Let's see what the Kraken can do. Can he actually destroy things pretty easily? We need to test this out. He's losing body parts. Let's get him... Uh, let's spawn a boat in. And then let's see what what happens if, he, if it encounters a boat. Here's a nice little tropical boat. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's doing its thing again where it's going to blow up on us. Will it? Wow! <laughs> it just threw it way into the air. I guess the Kraken can uh, throw some boats around. That kind of kind of makes sense. I didn't expect that to happen. Where is it? That's a. Is that a? Was that a tentacle I grabbed? There it is. He's in there somewhere. Stop making that noise, boat. How do you get that thing to stop? That's kind of annoying. I don't know if we can actually use the Kraken to destroy anything. Either the world got larger, or I got smaller. That's one big burger. Yeah, we're back in Teardown, and today we're gonna find out what happens if Space Bloop invades our universe. You guys, <laughs> Bloop just destroyed my kitchen table and almost knocked over my burger. I think the world is larger, because Bloop here is gigantic, and he's just normal size in my dining room eating some burgers. Bloop, I I'm gonna try to feed you, okay? You just sit right there. Uh, Bloop. <laughs> Bloop, that is not at all what I wanted you to do. What the crap, Bloop? Come up here for a second. All right, Bloop, open up. Here's your burger. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know if it was, I didn't expect it to be that dramatic. But now I really wonder, can I destroy Bloop with different types of food? Oh, great news. There's a whole fridge full of food up here. Oh, it's a burger. The cake and I might have ruined it a little bit. No worries, Timmy will be happy with whatever cake he gets, especially if it's been digested by Bloop's face. Surprisingly, you know, Bloop doesn't really get too damaged by various food products. But what about a soda can? That seems like maybe it will work. Let's just try this for a second. Oh, did I I gave him a little bit of a scratch? We're here in New York City, right by the World Trade Center, and we've got this nice little plop of land right here, and we're about to go to space i'm going to get a rocket and we're flying out of here hmm we might have had an issue <laughs> it flew off i tried to place it down but it didn't really work too well it's just just getting destroyed well the falcon 9 worked it's about half the size of the world trade center building the thing is gigantic okay well we're gonna go to space now let's see what do we do oh there we go we're just hold down space, I think. And we're blasting off. No way! This is absolutely amazing. So I think once we get to 1,000 meters, we get to uh, select our destination. We would not We would normally be maybe going to a different planet. I guess we should check out a planet because we've never been to space before. And then we're going to look for base bloop. Oh, sweet. We're in space. T to open map. Oh, Earth? The moon? Mars? Where's Pluto? We need to go give it some confidence. We should go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. Select location. Oh, here we go. B. Oh, jeez. I went through the planet. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Oh, no. Now we're landing. Okay. Do we need to be very careful with touchdown? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're good. My heart was racing. I thought I was about to blow up on Mars. It just comes down. Let's look for aliens. Okay, I guess we're... Or I guess we're, oh, we're in this we're in the spaceship need to get out of here <laughs> That seemed to do the trick although we're not getting back to earth this way But we can definitely go look for bloop still that's gonna happen. So uh, Mars is pretty empty Just as I thought perhaps there might be an alien somewhere. Nope barren wasteland just as we thought although there is a hole right here is this a cave can i even get down in here oh whoa okay what it looks like whoa, what's that who's that it's an alien no we can see through the earth it's just a glitch wait listen i love listen to this <laughs> it's a car engine i love how the uh falcon 9's got a car engine okay we won't die or anything just forget you saw that hole we're going to look for space bloop now I'm just floating through space. Look, I even have like the glare on my helmet like I'm in an astronaut helmet. Anyway, we're here in space and here are, whoa, hey, we found Space Bloop. Look at him, here he is. This is a mod by Finfire, if you don't know. It's all glowy and shiny and stuff. I wonder what, I wonder how big this thing is in comparison to the other bloops. Check out inside his mouth. It's a planet or something, a sun is in there. And maybe it's a sun that he just ate. But we're about to feed a bunch of planets. 
to Space Blue. But before we do that, we need to look at the size comparison. Whoa, surprisingly, Dark Bloop is pretty darn close to the same size. It maybe it is the same size. You know what, you need to get out of here. Go, go off into the depths of space. There he goes. Bye, Dark Bloop. Okay, so this is about the same size as the other one, so that means that the other Bloop is smaller. Let's take this satellite here and chuck it in the Space Bloop's mouth. Whoa! It blew apart and did anything even happen to him? It doesn't even look like he was damaged. He's got a piece of metal in his tooth. We've got, like, space stations, I think? Are these the... ISS International Space Station. This thing is gigantic. It's breaking apart as I'm twirling it around. <laughs> no big deal. Okay, here you go. Bloop, eat a space station. Oh, jeez. Oh. Whoa, he's like actually eating it. That's pretty amazing. Whoa, look at him go. Don't destroy any of my planets, okay? We need to test some stuff. Guys, there's a flat Earth over here. We knew it. I knew it. This is right all the time. There's a Death Star? There's a, Is that the Elysium Ring or whatever you call that thing? I think so, right? Look at this flat Earth. <laughs> <laughs> flat earth okay let's take the death star and let's chuck the death star at him i you know bloop's gonna eat our sun and the earth and so you guys make sure to uh, stick around for that here we go ready the death star we're gonna get it closer and throw it at him. throw it at him there we go whoa <laughs> the death star this is the weapon they needed right here that that the the space bloop can destroy the death star in one bite here is our sun we shall give it to bloop Feed Bloop the sun to make him happy. Can he? Whoa, okay, wait a minute. I think he's indestructible. I think he's. Whoa, did you see what happened right there? Oh my goodness. I think Space Bloop is literally indestructible. Look at the. Look at this. You guys, there are literal. He literally ate around it. That's pretty amazing, actually. I, I like that. Sweet. Get out of here. Here's the real question. <laughs> Look, the sun particles destroy the lettering over there. We should take this earth. Wait, which earth should we take? Let's. We, we gotta take a big one, right? He's gonna eat our earth, you guys. That's what's happening right now. You ready? He's gonna eat our earth. Let's line it up. Here we go. And bloop. Space blooped. Oh, jeez! Look at it! Just disintegrated the majority of the Earth! Oh, no! That's no good. Let's take Bloop on a little bit of a ride, okay? Bloop is a little uncontrollable sometimes, but I don't know what planet this is. Maybe it's maybe it's Hoth. He's gonna eat Hoth. There he goes. He's eating it. He ate it like it's nothing. This is what it does in the animation, though. I mean, he literally eats everything around like it's literally nothing. Okay, hold on. Things are getting crazy. Bloop's freaking out on me. We gotta reposition him. We have a little marble-sized planet. Oh, jeez, it's in there. It's, oh, it just got absorbed by the sun or whatever's in there. Is there a black hole? Can we, like, throw a black hole at him? That'd be pretty cool. Okay, we've come back to Earth. We're on a cargo ship and Space Bloop's here in the ocean. We're about to put Space Bloop to the test and see if he actually can be destroyed. Let's start with the hex shotgun. Something tells me he's invincible. Oh my goodness. If he... We definitely hit him. Yeah, I think he might be indestructible. Did anything happen? No, nothing happened. We're going to test this. I have other things. Okay, this thing has never let me down yet. So here we go with the... He literally went right through him. The BFG. No way. Is this this boat freaking out on me? How about C4? Let's strap his strap his mouth to C4. That usually has worked, but something's telling me he's indestructible. Let's see. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom! Oh, jeez. We made him move, but his face is still intact. What about the mini new Davy Crockett? It went right through his mouth. No, it did it. No, it didn't. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take care of a problem real fast. Why would I do that when I could just use Space Bloop here to do it for me? Space Bloop, meet cargo boat. You need to destroy it. Okay, can you eat this thing? Oh, he's definitely eating it. Oh, no. Look at him go. He's totally annihilating it. We just want that noise to stop. That's it. After the noise stops, everything will be good. It's still going. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so confused right now. There we go. Problem solved. Just to make sure my game isn't bugged, I've got Bloop here. And, you know, he actually, it seems to work against him. We've got the shards. And as you can see, they're pretty effective. So let's test this same thing out against Space Bloop here. 
Yep, look at him. He's totally invincible. The shards, the shards almost always work. That's not a piece of him. That's from the other one. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he's absolutely indestructible. Nothing we do will <laughs> make him blow up. We've got the Kamea laser rifle. Okay, laser rifle's not working. What about asteroid strike? Test the asteroid strike. Here it comes. Slow. <laughs> it's uh it, it must be there must be a little laggy. I've got a lot going on here. It comes. And Skadoosh! Uh yep. Nothing. I don't think I missed either. It should have blown him up anyway, even if I did miss. And so I think oh, this is a good test. Yeah, yep, look at it. Invincible. That worked on him though. Let's try this thing over here. It's freaking out. The game is lagging big time. Hey, Sharon, listen. I know that I've been working a lot lately, so I thought I'd bring you out here to this epic ocean, this wonderful little island, and you and I are just going to spend some time together. Listen, I know I don't say it enough to you. I love you. Do you want something to drink, Sharon? I've got this nice drink here. Oh, Sharon. Sharon, uh, there's uh, something behind us, Sharon. We need to get out of here as quickly as we possibly... Sharon, drive! No, no, Sharon, I'll save you. Oh, crap, Sharon fell out. Oh, no, Sharon, I'll save you. Sharon, where are you? No, not my boat. <laughs> you gotta swim the shore. She was the love of my life. Now, I'm alone. On a deserted island in the middle of nowhere? Oh my, it's trying to come on land to get me. I don't think I need to worry though, even though Sharon's gone and my life has been changed forever. I've got some nice weapons here that I'm sure will destroy this thing. What blew me backwards? I'm quite certain that a meteor strike should be able to take care of this. A big gigantic megalodon. You know, surprisingly, I think it's still alive, maybe. It is. I'm not quite certain how it is because it's missing half its head, but okay. I think we just need to maybe try something called Firestorm and torch this thing all up. Ah, yes, I think I'll just go to sleep in this nice bed. I really ought to just drive back to civilization and be done with this place. Farewell, Sharon. You will forever be remembered in my heart. Life seriously will never be the same without Sharon. Stupid sea monsters ruined my life. Oh my gosh, it's another one. Where did this thing come from? They're they're hunting me down. I got something for you, big guy. It's called the rocket launcher. Straight to your eyeball. How do you like them apples right there? What the heck is this thing? Oh my, oh my, it's attacking the buildings. Oh no, everything is getting destroyed. The people. Turns out it could jump and leap across entire cities. Although it pretty much destroyed itself we need to investigate this thing and see what type of sea monster this is maybe we can find out what it's been eating <gasps> Sharon Sharon you're alive I'll get you out of here Sharon take you to safety so that way you can live a better life don't cry Sharon I'll I will avenge you I got exactly what this thing needs <laughs> some nice explosive bananas take that you crazy beast don't worry Sharon look at the damage that I'm doing to this thing Sharon I got this for you so that way you can always remember that I saved your life. Come on, Sharon. Let's go to the airport and catch a ride out of this place. We'll go back to the farm. Everything will be nice and safe there. That's it. Just go to sleep. We don't need to worry about anything attacking us here in, in, in the air. Never forget how much I love you, Sharon. Do you guys happen to know what our ETA is until we get to the city? What is happening? What the heck? No! It found us in the air. We're going down. Oh, my goodness. Sharon. Oh, no. It's destroying the entire plane. It's eating everything. What is this creature? No. Just when I got you back, Sharon. You're, you're lost for good. There she goes. No, I see her, Sharon. I'm coming. 
I'm coming, Sharon. I'm gonna get you. We're go I'll take you to safety. Grab a parachute, Sharon. Come on, baby. <laughs> We're gonna survive somehow. Pop the parachute, Sharon. No, Sharon. <laughs> no. I don't know why I'm laughing. Sharon is uh, having some issues. We're making it. We're gonna make it. Sharon, I found you. You're alive. You never die. I don't understand how you keep surviving all these incidents. Sharon, you lost your arm. Oh, no. Are her legs missing too? Sharon, your legs are missing too. It's okay, Sharon. You don't need any of those body parts. Don't worry. I will take you to safety. We're going to get to the hospital. You're right back there, Sharon. Sharon? Sharon? Sharon! Sharon's gone! No! I don't know. She's lost forever this time. You might ask yourself why I'm here on the precipice of this volcano. It's not to jump in myself, but to find out what happens if we feed this volcano a sea creature that took my Sharon. Here it is. The Dork Bloop. We need to find out what happens if we drop this thing in this volcano, if it's even possible, let us fly above it and then position it straight over. Here we go. Oh, it's 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 on it. It didn't go in though, but that's okay. We're gonna try it again. Should we feed it from the bottom up? I think we can try to do that. Let me scroll it out a little bit. It's I think it's getting destroyed on the on the box on the top of the box. There we go. In you go. Your tail into the lava pit. Is it burning? I think this might be the first ever volcano we've ever seen in this game. It's it is. It's burning up. Oh, look at it. It's on. It's smoking a little bit. It's on fire. I think part of it's getting destroyed, but it's not happening nearly as quickly as I would like it to. We can try to move it a little bit more now. But it's 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 actually not doing anything. I think I need to jump in myself and find out what happens. Do I die? No, yep, I'm dying. I'm in the I'm in the lava. What? Where am I? What is this place? Am I am I dead? I think I'm Sharon? Sharon! Hello Sharon? Hello, can you hear me? This is me with Sharon. Am I I'm not in my body? What's happening here? I think I'm dead. No. What what is this? What is this? Sharon! Sharon, no! Sharon! Sharon! Oh, not again! I will spend all of eternity destroying you and all your friends! I will never see her again. It's all because of you and all your sea monster friends. You got a little bit of your neck left. Just wait till I re reload and then you're done. Yeah, there we go. Get your filthy sea monster legs out of my afterlife. This is for Sharon. <laughs> yeah, these stinking shards are so amazing. I love these things. Well... <laughs> It's just me and you, Kraken Head. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Uh, just, you know, having some fun, doing some different stuff. Whoa, I can jump off? Woo, this is like, look at me. I'm floating in midair on a Kraken body. Is there a... Whoa, I respawned? You literally can't leave this area. I'm stuck here forever in the afterlife. Eternal in, a, in heaven or wherever I am. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Let me know uh, if you enjoyed this. And forever remember Sharon in your dreams because she will be forever missed. Today we're about to find out what happens when you take a whole bunch of cars and wreck them into Dark Bloop. Here we have Dark Bloop. And here is this epic car jump map that I've edited so that way we can have some fun. We're going to take supercars, monster trucks, various big rig explosive what? trucks and definitely a school bus and we're gonna crash it into bloop if you want to see more content like this definitely make sure to subscribe first up the supercar now the question is do we run it straight at him off this ramp or try to jump it i think we go for the speed and go straight at him i also have the super boost to make sure we do epic damage oh no i missed him we did blow up a lot of stuff though Ooh, i didn't miss him i nicked him underneath let's 
try this again, but this time we're gonna go straight off the jump and we're actually not gonna use the boost Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we we overshot we skimmed some of uh, Bloob's top off But I think we need to try this again. Oh, man. I can't wait for this one. It's gonna be explosive Oh, I've raised him up a little bit. This is gonna be the one right here into his mouth Yes, make a hole in the back of his throat. We almost went through his entire body if you <laughs> We made a hole in his gullet. Yeah, look at that hole. He's not gonna be able to eat too well with that thing. What if we move to something a little bit bigger like this nice APC right here? Here we go. This thing, is this thing even gonna make it? We're doing the boost because I'm not sure it's gonna, oh, it made it, all right. It's gonna take out his tail. Oh, into the back wall, through the back wall, into the explosives. We actually took a good sized chunk out of his tail. Oh yeah, you guys, here we go. We're about to do the big gigantic semi truck. Definitely we need to do the vehicle booster that is totally ripping apart the back of my vehicle and the explosives. Let's check out the damage. Oh man, Bloop's face is bent. He strides a big gigantic hole. I think we need some monster truck actions. Let's try to get just the side of his face. See if it's possible to hit it just right. Oh no, we overshot it a little bit. Wow, we literally drove on top of on top of blue. It's a good thing I have another one. Let's wait to boost until the very end and see if that helps. Like maybe like right now. No, I should have kept going. We hit the under underside. I don't know if we did any like massive chunks of damage. We didn't, but man, we carved a big section out. Bloop is getting messed up. The bloops have been reset. Yes, bloops, because I've added another one in. And we're gonna take this big gigantic cement mixer and drive it right into the side of the face of that bloop right there. Here we go. This thing is so slow. So slow. It is gonna do so much damage because it's so heavy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. straight inside bloop. Almost out the bottom of it. I think we made a hole under there. There's the truck inside. Let's assess the damage, shall we? Oh my goodness. I wonder if we can launch off of this bloop and into the other one somehow. Guys, I think it's time we go with the explosive semi truck. Things are going to get so blown up. I have a feeling it's going to be amazing. We have to hit this just right. Oh, this thing is actually way faster than the cement truck. Here we go. Boom. Oh, no. Did we even get in? Whoa. We knocked the bloop clean off the back. So if you guys don't know, the back part of this bloop is indestructible. But we broke this thing out of and hung straight off. We severed it off the back, blew off half of its face with the explosive truck. And that was awesome. We need to test that, but on this jump with that thing. We have to be careful we don't touch any other vehicles as we're driving. I wish there was a slow-mo replay that we could do. Like we could capture it. I mean, I, we could always look at it, you know, but I'm talking like from the side. Okay, here we go. Let's line it up. We're gonna line it up. We're gonna try to view it from the side. Okay, here we go. We got it. All right, let's see this thing in action. Do we need to boost it all? Let's just boost. Oh crap! It'll it blew up from the ramp. Whoops! All right, we'll do it from the side of this right here. Oh, you know what? Is it actually the booster that's doing it? It might be the booster that causes it, you guys. Yep, it's the booster that causes it. So the booster is like someplace in the back of it. It's like a mod, and uh, it uh, obviously explodes the whole tank. That makes total sense. I don't know if we can actually ramp that thing off and have an explosion the way that we want. It's school bus time. Let's get this thing loaded up. Kids, get on the bus. We've got an important stop to make inside Bloop's mouth, okay? It's gonna be good. Here we go. Can we make, can we make the jump? We made the jump. The bus has so much like power behind it that it can really cause some massive issues, I think. We just need to line it up properly with the right speed to get right inside his mouth. Round two, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be perfect, guys, trust me. You're gonna like it. It's gonna be the best thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh, 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 yeah, straight in the side of his face. It didn't do as much damage as I would have liked it to do. I'm about to have a bus graveyard down here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take it to the side of that thing in a second. If this doesn't work out, we're just gonna go for it. Just go for it, there we go. 
right on top of Bloop's face. Let's assess the damage. Look at all that skimmed off of him. We've done quite a bit of damage to this thing. It's kind of hard to make that jump, but this thing straight into the side of this Bloop, it should be no problem. Here we go. This is the moment of truth, right in the Bloop's dumb eyeball. It's gonna be great. Take that Bloop. Oh, we drove, oh, that thing keeps breaking off, severing apart from the back of the tail, which is kind of interesting because the other one doesn't do that, no matter what we seem to do. But man, with the combination of the bus and the uh, propane tanks, we clearly messed up this bloop. And I think, looks like maybe the bus driver was safe and the majority of the kids actually survived this. This back half, not so much. You know what we need is a tank. This log truck looks amazing. Let's do that one next. We need a tank. Is there a tank? There's a tank right there. That's what we need. This log truck's got to be pretty brutal. Why are there some logs floating in the air there? Okay, that doesn't make sense, but we'll go with it. Clearly, I'm not too great at backing up, but no big deal. We don't need to back up too much. We just need to get on a straight path, boost a little bit, and there goes my logs. My logs are gone. Get it. We didn't even hit them. Round two. Here we got lost some logs. No big deal. Here we go. We're not going to miss this time. Bloop is mine. Yeah. Oh, right into his mouth. Perfect. Perfect landing. Did a lot of damage to him. You know, I'm like, I have this idea in my mind that like we're going to hit Bloop and everything on this map is going to explode. But I can't seem to figure out how to make the most explosive reaction. Although we did catch some logs on fire. Here we go, guys. It's tank time. Oh, I can totally shoot this thing too all right this is my first time driving a tank in uh tear down oh we could totally shoot bloop as we hit it this thing is super fast this is gonna be great yeah boom oh yeah there we go shoot off on it didn't even break him apart that time he somehow survived we got chunks of bloop falling whoa that's the most we've done so far with the other than the you know the explosion from the tank back here you know what would be interesting to do what if we put a tank inside bloop's mouth and then run into it propane tank inserted into bloop's mouth no crap it blew up there we go nice and safe and sound in there now let's get the propane truck and we're purposefully going to explode it that way we have the max explosive reaction that we possibly can bloop say goodbye your life is over it's in and explode okay it didn't blow up but now it's going to is it gonna blow up in there then what did blow up it's still a there it goes yeah that's right i'm still alive in this truck you guys we totally messed bloop up that time well this video has been incredibly scientific i hope you've enjoyed let me know what you think of this thing and this map and all this stuff I, i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do this again because this was pretty fun hope you guys are having a great day thanks for stopping by click one of the two videos you're about to see i'll see you guys in the next one